One player defied the odds to earn a roster spot. Luke Lynn joining us now with the story. And Luke, this guy came a long way to play some football. Yeah, he really did. And we know there are always a handful of local guys playing for the Rattlers, trying to make a name for themselves. But what if I told you there was a kicker from Ireland with very little playing football experience hoping to do the same? Well, he can kick the ball about a mile, and his name is Shane McInerney. It's time now to meet the lad in tonight's Sunday Showcase. This wasn't always part of the plan. I kind of saw myself having a career in soccer, you know, until I was maybe 33 or 34 and then going into the coaching route after. And he was certainly on his way. Soccer was always a way of life for Shane McInerney ever since a young age, having grown up in Ireland. In fact, McInerney played professional soccer for a handful of years before COVID shut down his season, prompting him to move to the U.S. on a soccer coaching contract. And then a change stirred within him. And I just decided, you know, I want to do something different or I need a new challenge so I bought a NFL ball and a kicking stick and started kicking and uh, just gave it a go and you know I, I, I felt like I had potential. His family back home though had some doubts. Like what are you doing you don't know the rules it's a new gate sport like stick to the soccer I mean some people are just stick to the soccer stick with what you're good at you know what I mean but I knew this is something I could do. And the similarities between the sports had its perks. I used to do a, long, a lot of long distance balls and I was very accurate with my long distance balls, you know, so some of the teammates were like, you should try and uh, give it a go and see, see, can you try and, you know, end up in the NFL. McInerney earned a full ride to play for Peru State in NAIA school where he led the league in field goal percentage. Yet the transition to a foreign sport had its own set of challenges. I didn't know a lot of the rules, you know what I mean? So sometimes even with kickoffs and stuff, uh, you know, I was asking the backup kicker when I needed to go on and kick and he would give me a nudge, you know, I knew, I knew how to kick, but it was just learning when to kick it in certain times in the game and stuff. But, you know, I'm, I'm well aware of it now and uh, I know my role as a kicker. And that eventually landed him here in the Valley as the kicker for the Rattlers. Yeah, undoubtedly a field goal try. And that one is going to be perfect. McInerney is now relishing each opportunity, each kick, as a hopeful stepping stone to playing in the NFL. This is something I'm willing to give about 10 years and really, really focus on it for about 10 years. From the pitch to now the gridiron, number 96 is eager to prove he has the leg and accuracy to make his new dream come true. For me, I love having responsibility, and I, uh, you know, I'm very confident about going out there and uh, being the one to take responsibility or, you know, change the course of a game for our team. His accent is the we did it, lads. <laughs> After tonight's contest, McInerney's field goal percentage with the Rattlers has now jumped to 92%. We, of course, are rooting for his continued success. And in the words of the man himself, cheers, mate.